Hello everyone, today I will do Windows 7 logs on Try Hack Me. First what you need to do is to just start the machine and I will let you some comments in the description because they are very very large comments and it's difficult to, to do yourself and I will make you that easier for you. But if you really want to learn about Windows 7 logs, just watch this video from this guy. Because he explained it very well how Windows Select Events works and you can get the grasp and understanding of how it works. But I will do some stuff for you. So I already started the machine. I op opened the, this file merged. And we can go to the task 2. First one we don't need to answer. And task 2. Saying us for the questions below, use Event Viewer to analyze Microsoft Windows PowerShell operation log. So Microsoft Windows and to go to the PowerShell and we need to find operational. There is the and then what is the event ID for the first recorded event? Go to the date and time. And then scroll, this is 2023, if we are going to scroll, 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 then we see that is the 2020, the event ID is here. Filter on event, event ID 4104, what was the second command executed in the PowerShell session? Now we are filtering and the first command is prompt and the second one is who am I? What is the test category for event ID 4104? Here is the test category and execute a remote command. Analyze the Windows PowerShell log. What is the test category for event ID 800? So just need to close this one and uh, open the Windows PowerShell. And here is the event ID 800 and this, the, this is the test category. Pipeline execution details. After that we are going to task and that is the web.x this is the tool for the windows event logs and uh, they send us how many log names are in the machine so we need to open the command prompt and you to use this command first one this command this command saying us web to till tool and the help menu and here are the some commands and if we want to count the number of events run this command and here is the answer after that what event files would be read when using the query events command we need this command web tool.x tool and query events and read events from an event log log file or structured query what option would you use to provide a pet to a log file for a log file pet here is a log file the pet is lf slash lf and then true this is the newest event if you're running true What is the value for Q? Value for Q is an XPET query. The question below are based on this command. We have to tilt QA application. C3, this is count, redirection true, F format text. So we will run this command here. And they send us what is the log name. That is the application. What is the RD option for? 
this is for uh, redirection what is the C option for? this is for count but they need to full name give it the full name after that we are going to task 4 and for this one room we need to use get power shell and answer the following question using the online help documentation for get win event so they, this is the microsoft site for the event windows event and uh, execute the command from example one assist what are the names of the logs related to open ssh I'll go to the example one, list log, and then run this command. Oh, no, we need to go to the PowerShell, I forgot. And we are getting here some information. And we need to find what is with uh, open SSH. It is the first. And the second one is open SSH operational. Execute the command from example 8. Instead of the string policy, search for PowerShell. What is the name of the third log provider? We need to go to example 8 and to find the this command and we are using not a policy we are using powershell so like this and then enter oops like this enter and here is the first name here is the second name and here is the third name Execute the command from example 9. Use Microsoft Windows PowerShell as the log provider. How many events IDs are displayed for this event provider? The same as this command. And we need to change Microsoft Windows Group Policy to Microsoft Windows PowerShell. So we need to do delete Group Policy. And the type Windows PowerShell. So, and we are getting so much information here. I just like you see, and for the to get to get the number, we need to run this command. So we need to run this command: measure object to get the count number. And the number is 192. How do you specify the number of events to display? The command is max event. I will explain you later. When using the filter hash table parameter and filtering by level, what is the value for informational? For this one, we can go to the Windows event and go to the Windows logs, like the system or security no application details HTML view and we see here that level is 4 and we are going to system informational we can see the level is 4 next one is expert queries that we are this is the tool that that we are using with PowerShell to find the Microsoft events and so using get win event and expect what is the query to find WLMS events with assistant time of 2020 December and here is the time and command is here I will let this command in description don't worry and I will run this command to show you what it represents and here is the information and the time 
and then using getwin event and xpath what is the query to find a username sam with a logon event id of, of 4720 and this is the second command the, we are saying get even event long name security with the leaks pet event data date name target username is sam and here is the event id and how i know what is the event id i can see here and here is the target username sam so let's run this command and we are getting here some information Based on previous query, how many results are returned? It's two. Based on the output from the question two, what is the message? So the output is here. A user account was created. Still working with the same as the user. What was the even IT4724 recorded? So we need to change this event ID to this one. I already changed here. Like you can see and I add this command to get more information here is the command and I run it and here we get some information and they're saying us record ID this is the record ID now uh, first still working with the same as user but time was even ID recorded now we need to take oh does not crash please here's the time and what is the provider name the provider name is here and that is all for this room we are going to the desk 6 and uh, for this one we don't need to answer nothing so we move on on the putting theory into practice task 7 so to successfully answer the questions below you may need to search online for more information the next scenarios questions are based on the external event log file till it emerges that ftx found on the desktop you can use any of aforementioned tools to answer the questions below so first is scenario 1 and, Z and 2 the server admins have made numerous complaints to management regarding PowerShell being blocked in the environment. Management finally approved the usage of PowerShell within the environment. Visibility is now needed to ensure there are no gaps in coverage. You researched this topic, what logs to look at, what event IDs to monitor, etc. You enabled PowerShell logging and on a test machine and had a colleague execute various commands. So questions 1 and 2. What event IDs to detect PowerShell downgrade? Down for this question we need to use google and here is the event id and what the date and time this attack took place for this one we need to use this command get with event pet merge this is our file filter xpet is tool and the system event id is 400 just as here are saved to us so we use this command And we are getting error. Why we are getting error? Because we need to go to the direction where is the merged FTX file. So, train direction, desktop. How, how I know that it's on desktop? I see it before, but here we can see too. So, run the command. Again. And now we are getting some information. finished so we need to find first date when attack has started and this is the time a lot clear event was recorded what is the event record ID we need to find ID for event log clear ID and it's saying us this is the ID right but the, the but the ID is 404 so they take that in mind sometimes you have more ids and sometimes it's not correct so you need to look better for it so a look clear event was recorded what is the event record id we are running the same command but only we are changing the event id 
or just say that I need to copy but I copied it before or just go like this before and then you can run and here we are getting some information and we are not getting enough information for this command so what we need to do this is the scenario questions 3 and 4 the security team is using event logs more they want to ensure they can monitor if events logs are cleared you signed a colleague to execute this action so this is the scenario 2 these two questions and how we can get more information more information we can get with this command we are adding fl property and now we run the command and we get a more information about it oh, see is the here is the record id and what is the name of the computer so name of the computer should be here right and we are moving to first scenario three questions five six seven the treat intel team shared its search on emote they advise searching for event id 4104 and the text script block text so we need to find script text within the event data element so event data element find the encoded powershell payload mm -hmm. what that means we need to go to the event log and go to the merge file because that is the file which we searching for information and then go to date and time because they are saying us what is the first variable within the powershell command so we need to find the first powershell command and we are scrolling here and we see that is the first command and they saying us to go to the event data and we see here that is the event data and here is the our answer this is the first variable what is the date and time this will take took place so here is the date and time what is the execution process id so we are in the same task and here is the execution process id and what is the group security id of the group she enumerated so this is the scenario for questions 8 and 9 a report came in that an intern was suspected of running unusual commands on her machine such as enumerating members of the administration groups this is important a senior analyst suggests searching for a c windows system 32 net one.x confirm the suspicion but i will search i will search for the enumeration members of administrator group id and as i can see here is the id 4799 and if i use this command And I that uh, add this event ID here, and I run it this command. I get a lot of information for, from this uh, from this attack. But what I need to do? It's so much information. I need to use this command max event. I said it before, and I said two because I know that is the answer on the second one. You can type 10 or 100, but I know that it's on second one, so I will make it two. And I run this command, and the first is here, and security IDs for workgroup, account domain workgroup. But she enumerated a group name administrators, and this, here is the security ID. 
and this is all for this room i hope so that i helped you and that is all i wish you all a nice day bye